Welcome everybody back to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg and today we're going to be running through uh, the price of Bitcoin which has been extremely volatile in recent weeks and months after or on the back of the collapse of major cryptocurrency exchange FTX and the subsequent criminal trial of its founder and CEO Sam Peckman fried which has been highlighted in the media a lot and has been garnering lots of attention and has seen a lot of issues related to the cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and others jump to the fore, specifically regarding issues such as regulation, compliance, and auditing. And this has seen the price of Bitcoin slip quite aggressively. Now, in more recent times, we've seen a lot of um, issues come about with the price or drop due to comments made by large Binance CEO Chung Peng Zhao related to a lack of ability for the major auditing accounting firms to audit cryptocurrency um, exchanges and businesses and a lack of regulatory a lack a, la a lack of a regulatory framework surrounding cryptocurrency that could cause issues related to FTX to seep throughout the rest of the cryptocurrency industry and sector and this is causing a lot of um, issues with related to customers and clients withdrawing their funds which is creating a liquidity vacuum and continuing to lower the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So now as we move over to the charts, what we can see is, as we've discussed previously, we've got a, real, a quite a strong um, downward trend. On the long term chart, we've got our sh shorter uh, 50 week moving average getting very close to the 200 week average. And if it manages to break through and create that what we call a golden uh, a death cross, it could be an extremely bearish pattern for the price, and it could fall even further. Looking, um, I'll just make it a little bit bigger for you guys so we can get a better look. At our major support levels, we are looking at our next level is at 14,000. As we go through 16, we're still trying to break through the mid 15. $15,000, but this is our kind of support zone in the immediate future. Pending a break of that, maybe looking at 10000 and then if that fails to hold, potentially right back down to $4,000 and then beyond. But again, this is an extremely bearish set case and scenario. Interestingly enough, if we have a look at the RSI, we've got a very similar pattern, and we are yet to break through the RSI. So even though um, we aren't actually as oversold as we have been. We've still got room to move, which is obviously a very bearish situation. As we look at the daily chart, what we can see is that we actually saw a little bit of a fake out on the, to the long side. So we've been following this 50-day um, moving average and 200-day moving average is kind of that secondary resistance level. So as you can see, going back to the end of last year almost, this um bar the initial break the these have both acted as pretty significant resistance levels so in the last week or so we had a bit of a mini breakout or rather fake out and this is arguably a short squeeze as we can see we've had a we had a tight range forming over here and we're still kind of in this tight range and we had this fake out which indicates that perhaps there were institutions who were waiting on this um, breakout to just pile in on the short side and a move back to the downside has occurred. So the next stage for us um, is, well, are we going to be able to break through the lows or are we just going to keep chopping around this range for a, a long period? You know, as we can see, we've already got the support here, the support here. So it wouldn't surprise if we bounce back and just keep chopping along this range for a period of time. Now, if you are going to trade this, bear in mind, you want to give yourself some room with that stop loss. You know, where perhaps we want to get it as uh, give ourselves as much room for the price to grow. Now, if we look here, this, um, this price action was about 5% above um, the breakout point. So if we move our stop loss to 5% below the bottom of the support, 
which will take us to approximately just on about 14.75. So we'll adjust our trade position. Let's just bear with me, guys. Sorry about this. So we've still got almost a three to one risk reward ratio for this trade. So we are just waiting for that kind of that bottom to form on this. Alternatively, this is could be part of a longer term cons, um, consolidation. Wait for that breakout and then go down to the short side and just carry this trade through. And as we know, Bitcoin does like to consolidate before our next move down. But there you go, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that analysis of cryptocurrency and Bitcoin going into 2023. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.